Thank you, Your Majesty. This opens the court of Her Majesty Jeanette, sovereign of the stellar kingdom of North Shield. Do all honor as you may, Your Majesty. <laughs> all right. First, I want to thank the BOD for working so hard and working with all of the kingdoms to allow us to do things like this. Um, it, it's just an extraordinary time and extraordinary measures are being taken and we appreciate everyone who's going above and beyond to allow this to happen. Um, Colleen for loaning her paid Zoom account um, and buying additional attendees so we can make sure everybody from the kingdom could be here if they wished. Um, these are extraordinary times and if you're watching this on video later because you didn't feel up to joining live or you couldn't for some reason, um, I'm glad you're watching. It's, it's a lot, there's been a lot going on and everybody's not okay. And that's normal as can be in such an abnormal situation. So take care of yourself first. Always take care of yourself first. But we're, I am glad for everybody who was able to make it today and to be able to do these final pieces of business. Before I really get started, um, Colleen will be looking at the people. If you're the person getting the award and you would like to respond vocally, you are certainly welcome to. And we have some things from golf that didn't happen for the war that wasn't, you know. Um, so I do have tokens to give to everybody who is going to fight at golf. And as always, I have the pay for the army. So my current plan is at the next event or two that I'm going to be at, I will take all of these things. And if you were going to go to Golf Wars, if you could just approach me and I will make sure you get your pay and your token if it's appropriate. And I would like to, I know I thanked her out on Facebook and I know she watches because she's our social media officer, but I wanted everybody to be able to see this amazing banner that was made for us by Mistress Gwen. It says, mm -hmm. cry honor over victory, which frankly made me cry because that is exactly what I was going to work with when I was giving my speech, uh, speeches um, as I you know, led the armies out. And that's really, I think, how I play this game. And it was amazing. And I hope that it will find display at an upcoming event so everybody can take a really good look at it. I know this screen is not a great way to see it. I wish it had a chance to get displayed properly, but we will make sure it has that chance sometime coming up soon. So that's for what we had going for the war that wasn't. Um, I hope everybody uh, had a good week. A lot of you ended up taking a week off anyway. Um, I probably should have. I only took a couple of days. Um, these, everybody has been so wonderful and so generous. These are terribly difficult times and everyone has been so gracious. Um, a lot of people um, paid their site fee for golf anyway they made a special point to buy what they were planning on buying from the merchants anyway. And in a situation where some people aren't sure how long they'll have their jobs or they're not being allowed to work full time, that is noticed and it is generous and I wanted to thank you. Um, if we could go on with my first order of business. Your first order of business, Your Majesty, is Mardina Thorburn. This was actually supposed to go out at, I believe, TOC, yes. But we didn't manage to capture that day. So I wanted to make sure that I took the time to do this in court, and it was planned that I was gonna take it down to Gulf with me. <laughs> so here it is, if you could read it. Queen Jeanette raised these runes for Mordina Thorburn, 
She has performed great service to the kingdom, and so she has been awarded a Cygnus. Done at Tournament of Chivalry on the 16th day of November, AS 54. Arthur cut these runes. So, thank you to her for everything. Um, service is what makes this society work. And so we like to acknowledge service from our um, participants. So, Vivat from Erna. Former Dina, Vivat. Vivat! Um, Vivat. <laughs> You're late. <laughs> Uh, our next order of business. Your Majesty, your next order of business is Isabella Beatrice de la Rosa. Isabel is one of my people. She is one of the people that lights up the SCA for me, makes everything just that much sunnier when she's there. And when we first put, put out there this courtesy award, there were so many people who wrote her in. Um, and so I wanted to make sure that people saw that it wasn't just them. It wasn't just me. It's everyone. She is kind and gracious and courteous. And I, I told somebody uh, recently that Belle had lost her temper. They're like, <gasps> Oh my God, what happened? Because she's just like that. She's always sweet and kind and giving. Um, and this was the least that I could do to acknowledge that. So she's going to be getting the new Unnamed Courtesy Award. If you could read it. You could read it. Read it. The words of Jeanette, stellar queen of North Shield. As certain as the sun rises in the east, our gracious subject is Isabella Beatrice de la Rosa has generously opened her heart as kingdom chatelaine and welcomed our newcomers with open arms tales as old as time will tell how her open heart has shown so many of our populace the path of joy kindness and graciousness we reward her devotion to this we reward her devotion to this gentle chivalric value with this award reserved for those who are the embodiment of courtesy uh, should have been presented the 19th day of March, AS 54. So this uh, scroll was done by Marguerite and is an incredible work of art. Oh my God. Wow. I saw oh, it posted and now I know who got it. <laughs> um, so Vivat for Marguerite, uh, uh, Isabella. Vivat, um, Vivat. In your majesty. Yes. We're having an issue with um getting 500 people to join it looks like we need to restart to allow the 500. okay do you want to restart yeah let's do it we want everybody to be here all right we're starting from the top so everybody pretend everybody who's on know. will have to rejoin right yes okay so everybody who's on you'll need to rejoin we're going to restart so we can get the full attendance the same this is yeah. the court of Jeanette, Queen of North Shields. All right. So it looks like we are stuck at 100. All right. So Let's... shall we proceed and record? Yeah, I suppose there's not much option. Zoom will get an earful later. All right. So do we have, Belle was on before. Is Belle on now? I'm on. I'm on. And I love you. And I want to hug you so much. <laughs> oh, you were you were on. You you heard your award. I did, and you made me cry. And I don't like you, but I love you. So <laughs> thank you. That's I'm okay. Thank you. Woo. Well, um, I guess we're on to the next item of business then. Your Majesty, your next item of business is Asa score. Ah, this was meant for the Spring Gate, Spring Black Gate Spring Bash. I can talk. Um, and out there, to be honest, in the back of beyond, um, they don't get a lot of support. And so every single member has to do what they, everything that they can do to make uh, functional Shire, much less have events. And 
Asa has been all the kinds of helpful. And so we would like to award her our Cygnus. Gerald, please. Award of the Cygnus for Asa Spor, Ren Jeanette, March 19th. So, um, Vivat for Asa. Vivat. Vivat. And then, what do we have for our next item of business? Your next item of business is Susanna Sparks of Cheshire. Ah, well, Susanna, and I hope she's here. Um, she is one of our equestrian folks, and she's actually also a friend of mine. And I was so happy when she got written in for this because every equestrian that brings horses allows other people to compete in equestrian, and I know Susanna does that. Um, Susanna has had her own horses and um, loaned them to people to do equestrian. And um, we want to make sure she's acknowledged for her help of the equestrian community. This is her palfrey. If you could read it, please. Hear all the good deeds of a most deserving gentle, one who has well served the equestrian community and who possesses prodigious skill on the back of a horse. Thus do we, Jeanette, bestow unto Susanna Sparks of Cheshire, the award of the palfrey, done both for that was it, AS54. This is uh, by Cecily, Cecily of York. For Susanna, vivat. 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 So I'm here and I am crying too. So I hate you just like Belle does, but I love you too. Thank you. <laughs> Um, so our next item of business. Your Majesty, your next item is Leandra Fleur. Ah, yes, Leandra, um, your scroll did not make it to me. Uh, the noble Thora has, um, let me know that they have not had the opportunity to finish those and that they will be doing that and getting them to you. So, but I didn't want to miss this opportunity to acknowledge everything that you've done for your group, um, how much that you have worked with others to try and make the SCA a better place. Um, Harold, do we have, do we have words? Uh, you're, I'm afraid that your majesty did not pass me the words for that text. I'm yeah, I, I don't think I got them. Um, if you could just the award and uh, her majesty chooses to make leandra fleur a lady a lady of her court and thus bestowing her an award of arms so we will get you your uh award and a circlet uh, next item, uh vivat for leandra viva. 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 oh that's a good vivat <laughs> It's all technical challenges. Um, our next item of business, please. Your Majesty, your next item of business is Angeline Le Mercier. I adore Angeline. Um, she is one of those folks that she shares my geek, uh, but she doesn't share my time period. And she dresses to the nines absolutely perfectly. Every time I see her, she's dressed. Even if she's undressed and not all perfectly done up, all of it's correct. You know, all of the correct pieces are hanging off the right places. <laughs> and she's just not quite done up. Um, and she was uh, written in more than once for this. And I wanted to make sure that I had the opportunity to do this. <laughs> and this is this scroll. So don't worry, I'll get closer. But Angeline, I hope you're here. Um, this is your Pixis scroll. Effort in maintaining a period appearance, do we, Jeanette, induct Angeline Le Mercier into the order of the Pixis? And I have a photo with this next to a dime. I'll send it to you too. Um, oh, it's amazing. Thank you so much. 
<laughs> you totally deserve it. And I'm so glad you could be here. And don't worry, we will get it to you. And this precious little thing was made by Cecily of York. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Thank you so much. So glad to be able to do it. You totally deserve it. Um, all right. Uh, Vivat for Angeline. Vivat. 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 All right, our next item of business. Your Majesty, your next item of business is Vedas of Blackgate. Yes, um, there are a number of awards for the folks out there at Blackgate tonight. We were, they were going to have an event, which is not a small undertaking for such a small shire. And we wanted to use this opportunity to make sure that the folks out there got the acknowledgements that they deserved. And Vedas, um, I'm your awesome. Your service has been uh, exemplary and has really helped your group and your shire. Um, and we wanted to acknowledge that with your sickness. I attend the words of Her Royal Majesty Jeanette, Queen of all the lands of North Shield. Vedas of Blackgate has shown exemplary service and dedication as a marshal, skill as a herald and courtesy and kindness to one and all. We therefore, by the hand of our heir and regent Kiaran, present unto her the award of the Cygnus, April 4th, AS 54. And just to clear up any potential confusion, the court out there at Blackgate was going to be a regency court held by um, His Highness Kiaran. And so a bunch of the scrolls have his name on them as the presenter. Um, and I just wanted to go ahead and honor the fact that His Highness was going to do that. I asked the scrolls to be written up exactly as if they were going to be given that day. So, vivat for Vedas. Vivat. Vivat. Um, our next piece of business. Your Majesty, your next piece of business is Maddock up Jones. Oh, Maddock. Yes. Um, I actually <laughs> had traces. Uh, that Maddox was, you were written in for uh, a number of things. And I selected this one because I hope this will mean as much to you as you mean to the archery community. Um, but I don't know if that's possible because you do so much. Um, this is your black bolt. These runes were raised by Jeanette, Queen of North Shield, for Maddock App Jones to honor his obtaining a black bolt. This was done at Gulf Wesant on March 19th, AS 54. Gar Arthur cut these runes. I don't know if you could see, but his little arrow is the black bolt. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, Vivas for Maddock. For Maddock. Yeah. <laughs> Item of business, please. Your Majesty, your next item of business is Joan the Lewd. Despite her lewdness, we are rather fond of Joan. Um, as a kingdom, there are a number of people who are fond of Joan. And they are so fond of the work that Joan has been doing in all kinds of different arts that they felt that it was appropriate that she receive her black flame. In recognition of her exceptional skill in the arts of jewelry making and metalworking, among others, do we, Renchanet, bestow unto Joan the Lewd this award of the Black Flame, March 19th, AS 54. And this was also done by Cecily of York. Gorgeous. So, Vivat for Joan. For Joan. Vivat. 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 The next item of business? Your Majesty, your next item of business is Aziza Bent Dowd. Yes, um, Ziz, <laughs> yes. I'm so glad that you offered to help with, with my reign. You have been a godsend. Um, Ziz has been my head retainer. For those of you who have never tried to do that job, it is hurting lots of kitties and excited puppies and getting everybody in the place where they need to be, including me, at the right time. Um, 
and she has done an absolutely exemplary job and I wanted to acknowledge that with a clean cipher. If you could read the word. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Aziza Bent Dowd. Of course. It provided the Queen with companionship at all times. She has been diligent, kind, and responsive in all situations. For her commitment to kingdom and crown, do we, Jeanette, Sovereign Queen of North Shield, recognize the Honorable Lady Aziza Bent Dowd, holder of the Black Bolt, holder of the Cygnus, holder of the Black Flame, member of the Pixis, member of the Order of Bridget's Flame, member of the Order of Aquila Thelemon, member of the Order of the Golden Peacock, with, her, with our Queen Cipher, this 19th day of March, year of the plague, AS 45, at the war with no enemy, both wars, the war that wasn't. So um, I have to fall on the sword on this one. I did the scroll um, and it is not completed yet, <laughs> but it will be amazing. <laughs> and that will get it to you, Ziz. Uh, you, you more than deserve a wonderful piece of art and I'll get you one. Um, for Ziz. For, Z for Aziza Ben Vivat. 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 The next item of business. Your Majesty, your next item of business is Cressida Leoholt. So, I've met Cressida many times on the rapier field. And I don't think I've ever beaten her. Now I understand that doesn't say much <laughs> because I'm still new at this. But other people have to stop and think when they fight her as well. Um, she has been doing an amazing job out on the rapier field, seeing, being, being seen, fighting, fighting honorably, um, and really starting to win. <laughs> amount more than she loses <laughs> and we wanted to acknowledge her work with a glove this monument is raised for Cressida Leoholt by Queen Jeanette to honor Cressida's growing skills in the field of light weapons for this Cressida is given the award of the glove at Blackgate Spring Bash on the 4th of April AS 54 these runes are cut by Gerarthur so um, thank you so much for your participation and your growth in rapier, and um, I hope to see you out there again soon. Uh, I will have an actual glove for you with it as well. I don't have any of the tokens out here with me. So Vivat for Cressida. For Cressida. Vivat. 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 Our next item of business. Your Majesty, your next item of business is Sven Osvalders. Is it? I don't know that my things are in order then. Do we have a, that scroll? You, uh, you do not appear to. Okay. Then that is, there are two artists who were not able to get their art to me. Uh, the Noble Sora and um, Lord Calamus. I will get those and we will get them to you. Um, if you could magically do your Herald Wordy thing. <laughs> to those get a, um, please excuse me, your majesty, I apologize. You know what, I don't know Sven very well. Why don't you tell me about why, why, why Sven should, should get this award, your majesty? Yeah, you took that and bus and just backed it right over me, you did. Uh, <laughs> These are extraordinary times, Your Majesty. They, they are extraordinary times. Um, see, this is what happens when the Herald throws you under the bus. You're not ready. Um, so, like many of the members out in Blackgate, Sven has been working, helping with 
the local practices helping with his group. I mean, Blackgate wouldn't exist without a significant amount of work from all of the students who are involved. And they support the Shire out there in such an amazing way that we just wanted to make sure that these individuals um, like Sven were acknowledged for everything that they're doing out there and not getting a ton of support for since they are so far away from the majority of our population. So Sven, so I do not have things to give you right this moment. You are receiving your Cygnus. So Vivat for Sven. For Sven. Vivat. 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 The uh, next item of business, see, I would be able to tell myself if you um, had you to... The next item of business is Jean-Vierre de Wasserman. Yeah. Um, okay, so back to the normal order of things. This, I, this was actually supposed to go out earlier and he wasn't at the event. And I was told how much it would mean for him to get an award on the field. And so I held off and we were going to do it on the field. It was going to be my, my sole field court at golf. So I'm terribly sorry that that could not happen, but you are becoming a real force to be reckoned with on the rapier field. You're making people stop and think really hard. And we wanted to acknowledge everything that you've achieved and have you among those who are your peers in fighting and we will give you your ACV. And I'm not gonna throw myself on the sword and pronounce the whole thing, I'm sorry. To those gathered here, do we, Queen Jeanette, wise Queen of North Shield, say, come thou gentle crowd and listen nigh. The North Shield fencing history hath a start. Some years ago in mid-realm, by and by came jean Fier in the passion of his heart. Twas his great joy to spread both far and near the rapier blade through tides both spring and neat. To train the sword, he traveled to Yarvetler, and thence he came to nascent Falcon's Keep. Seek honor over victory is his code, and to his students did he grant its score, though many of them passed his greatness road, but none forgot his teachings of yore. In these great facts we thus describe his caliber, and grant the order of Vitruvius caliber. Done, done this, this 22nd of February, AS 54, whereof we have set our hand and seal. So the words are by uh, Tiffany's. I can't pronounce that. Scroll by Leah of Blackmore. So. Wow. And I wish I could do your name justice because the words were absolutely beautiful. So Vivat's for for Jean Pierre de Wasserman. Vivat. 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 You would think I'm French. I would be able to say French names, and it, it really isn't true. Maybe after watching this video, Kat will think twice before she makes me a shouty hero. Jean Pierre <laughs> is actually Dutch. <laughs> um, our next item of business. Your Majesty, your next item of business is Rifkel Malraki Einerson. Yes, I don't know if you made it on. Um, all of you know that my reign has been a little bit of a roller coaster, and I wouldn't have had it any other way. But I couldn't have had it at all without Malraki. Um, there is no other way to say it. He put me on this throne. And yet he was not able to serve himself. And he bowed out gracefully and has uh, you know, not stuck his nose in. He hasn't made things difficult. He could have made things really difficult for me. And instead he has been nothing but helpful. And I just needed to acknowledge his contributions to my reign. And I want to give him my clean cipher. Queen Jeanette raised these runes for Refkel Malraki Einerson for his service to the crown. For this, he has given a cipher during Jeanette's final court on what should have been April 18th, AS 54. Gerarthur cut these runes. 
So I was going to give it a coronation because I knew that he would be there. He's going to be Tyrion's um, king's champion. So I will get this to him. That will obviously be reasonably easy. Um, and I wanted to make sure everybody understood how much I value everything that he's done. So vivat for Malarkey. The next item of business, please. Your Majesty, your next item of business is Vetus of Blackgate. Yes. So Vetus, um, your other scroll has not made it. Um, the noble Thora will work with you and they will get that to you. But you are a truly extraordinary individual. And your group has nothing but respect for you. You are obviously a service person and giving of yourself, but you are also a heavy fighter. And um, I, I've heard you're reasonably good at hitting people with big sticks. And we have awards for that. So, um, so at the moment, I do not have the scroll. We are giving you your griffin and sword. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so glad you could be here. You, you deserve it. Absolutely. Um, vivats for Vegas. Vivat! Vivat! Our next item of business. Uh, your Majesty, your next item of business is Ursus of Blackgate. Help me out. I don't. I don't know if I have a scroll for that. Do I? You do. I do. Hold on. I need to make sure I pull the right thing. Oh. And it was next in, in my pile. Can you imagine that? You mean I actually prepared? I should trust myself. Your Majesty. So, um, as with the other Blackgate gentlemen, Ursus has given of himself in a way that we wanted to acknowledge um, your work with your local group is seen and appreciated and the crown so far away, we always appreciate that kind of work and we choose to acknowledge it with our sickness. Let it be known that we, Jeanette, by the hand of our heir and regent, Kieran, having embraced the spirit of service and loyalty given to our shire and kingdom by Ursus of Blackgate, moved to recognize his dedication and devotion his kindness, courtesy, and constant show of chivalry are felt and seen by all who meet him. Therefore, without hesitation, reward him with the award of Cygnus done this fourth day of April, AS 54, being 2020 in the Common Era. Jeanette Queen. So th these, uh, this scroll was done by Susan the Midwife, and we will get it to you. So thank you very much. Vivats for Ursus. Vivats. Great. The next item of business, and maybe I won't be discombobulated this time. Your Majesty, your next order of business is Isla Urquhart. See if I did this right. No! There is no scroll for this one, Your Majesty. Why did you let me do that then? I apologize. <laughs> I think that's a terrible herald. So, um, Isla, you, you have given and given and given to those around you and to your group, and so much so that the kingdom, those others in the kingdom who give of themselves, wanted to call you their peer. And we have a group that has heard many things great of you, and they want you to number among them 
we will give you our hand of tear. So, vivat for Isa. For Isla, vivat. 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 This will probably be the only time in history that I'm not surrounded by hand of tears. I'm virtually surrounded by you guys, right? Virtually carry her off and do wonderful things. Make sure everything, all the hands are washed. <laughs> <laughs> is, is the hand of tear washed? Did somebody wash the hand of tear? I'm sure Sorry. I did. I, I am not much of a comedian. Um, <laughs> the next item of business, please. Your Majesty, your next item of business is Phelan McPherson. Phelan. Um, I hope we're pronouncing your name right. We gave it our best guess. Um, you, you are another of those members of Blackgate. And you gentlemen have hopped into mostly gentlemen. I, don't know if you've got any ladies in your group, um, have hopped into the SCA with two feet. And you make the SCA work out there. And the fact that you keep coming back and working and helping. And every time I've seen you, it's been, do you need anything? Can you lift something? And that's not even when you're at home. Um, I'm so sorry that your event got canceled. and. Um, I'm super glad that I can still do this. So I would like to award you your award of arms. Ellen McPherson is one who consistently gives of himself, whether it is. We lost you, Boo. Urging fighters. He does so enthusiastically and has done, done so throughout this and other kingdoms. Therefore, before the whole of the Griffin realm of North Shield, as proven by our royal hand and seal on this Fourth day of April AS 54 at the Blackgate Spring Bash, we, Jeanette, most regal and wise Queen of North Shield, by the hand of our mighty heir and regent Kieran, do bestow upon our devoted subject an award of arms that he may style himself a lord of the society and take upon himself all the attendant rights and responsibilities therein attributed. So this was illumination by Lady Elizabeth Fisher and calligraphy by. Um, the honor of Lord Marcial. Vivat. 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 Our next item of business. Your Majesty, your next item of business is R.G. Bella. And I apologize. Oh. Um. Yeah, Ar Argy? Yeah, Argy? that's right. Oh, okay, that is right. Um, excellent work. Again, folks jumping in with two feet, participating in the SCA, getting themselves garbed up, helping everybody out around them. This is what makes the SCA able to be. And we wanted to acknowledge that with an award of arms. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Will all and sundry hear the will of Queen Jeanette, having heard of her ardent participation and service within her shire. By the hand of Prince Kieran, we are minded to bestow upon Archie Bella an award of arms this fourth day of April, AS 54. So, this scroll by Cat Catriona. So it, we will get it to you. Thank you so much for everything that you're doing. Yes, that was Catriona Martial's wife. There we go. Vivat. Or Archie. Vivat. 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 Your Majesty, you now have business with Master Eldred of Malmesbury. Yes, I do. 
I know you're here, Eldred, because you're my seneschal. Hello. Hey. You um, will shortly be stepping down. And you have been my companion on this ride. You have been an absolutely amazing seneschal. You do more than you have to. You put yourself out there emotionally um, and mentally as well as physically for all of the people of North Shield. And I consider that a service to the crown and would like to honor you with my queen's cipher. Thank you very much. Thank you. Your scroll is also downstairs on my um, scribal table. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I will be getting it to you, but it's not quite done yet. No worries. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, Vivats for Eldred. Vivat. Your Majesty, okay. your next item of business is uh, Calder of Blackgate. So, Calder, um, you have been another one of those jumping in with both feet, being a, a, a force out on the field, making things happen. Um, it hardly seems enough to do this remotely, but I hope all of your friends are here and can see um, that we are giving you your griffin and sword. Lo do we, Je Queen Jeanette, gold giver, hear of word fame of our Calder of Blackgate, sword dancer of our people for his service to the warrior community and grit in combat are minded to give the word of griffin and sword done April AS 54. And this scroll was done by Sir Ajax. Nice. Vivat. 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 So I, I hope these gentlemen um, and ladies uh, can appreciate that we see you out there. We understand what it's like to be out there in a far flung shire trying to make things work for yourselves. This is just one of the things that we can do to try and acknowledge, and I hope it gives you a little bit of a boost. You guys are doing an amazing job, you folks. Um, our next item of business. Your Majesty, your next item of business is Robert Fitzrolf. Do I have No, ma'am. Um, Oh, yes, um, that Robert. <laughs> Robert, I also have crossed swords with you. Um, and so have so many others and they acknowledge that you are a fight out on that field. And we wanted to be able to, I suppose as much warn your opponents as anything else. Gotta be fair, you know. Um, but acknowledge you and all of the work that you've been doing on the rapier field by giving you your glove. This is one of the scrolls that didn't make it, and we will be getting it to you along with the glove. Thank you so much for everything you're doing on the rapier field, and keep it up. Vivats for Robert. Vivats! Viva. 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 There was one more item of business. Uh, yes, your, Majesty. your your last item of business on my list is uh, Embla Lars' daughter. Um, yes, but there was one we skipped because we don't have the translation for it. Oh, excuse me. I apologize. Um, I did in fact receive that. Oh, excellent. The translation from Peru. Uh, your this item of business is uh, Yuri Inu. So Yuri, um, you have become a force to reckon with on the field. You you've been fighting. You've been helping. You've been serving. You've been that heavy fighter, and we want to 
acknowledge that with your griffin and sword. And I apologize for the limitations of technology. In the reign of Empress Jeanette of Northshield, Inugano has been found to be a devoted and skilled warrior. This is most admirable. Therefore, it shall be conveyed that as a reward for service, we give an award of griffin and sword. The letter that shall make this known is thus. AS 54, April 4, Shire of Shadentor, Blackgate Spring Cash. So this it was done by Master Foro, which is why we had to go for him when I lost the translation. And I will fall on that sword. I lost the translation. Um, but we will get you the, your scroll and the translation. Um, so for um, Yuri? Dono, Vivat. 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 Jayo. Jayo. So Embla. And now for Embla Lars' daughter. So um, th there's kind of a theme in the court that people are giving of themselves and serving and helping others and making time for making other people's events wonderful. And we wanted to acknowledge Embla with a sickness. Queen Jeanette had these runes raised for Embla Lars' daughter to honor Embla's award of the Cygnus given at Blackgate Spring Bash on April 4, AS 54. So thank you so much for everything that you do. We see you. Please keep it up. Um, Vivats. Embla. Yeah. Um, and now I, I do have one more piece of business. This is like many things, when you're trying to surprise your herald, you um, you have to do things that you shouldn't. Um, so Mistress Wu, this is for you. This is your griffin and sword. I know it should be griffin and gla glaive, but that's not, an, that's not an award. So you can get a griffin and sword. Would you like me to read it, your majesty? Please. As a reward for skill in battle and inspiring brave heart, we give Minister Wu this award, Griffin and Sword, Emperor of Norshield, Jeanette Empress, April 18th, Society Year 54. So for Wu, Vivat! Vivat! Vivat. Oh. Vivat. That, that, is, that is amazing. Thank you, Your Majesty. I'm, I'm speechless. <laughs> Scroll by Foro. Thank you for the <laughs> uh -huh. So um, just a few words here at the end. I, there are so many ways I can describe my reign. Um, it is a gift. It was a gift for me to be able to do this. And I hope that I have made everybody's six months something that you'll remember for something other than a pandemic. That was not my fault. <laughs> um, but this has given me so much joy and I hope that I have given joy to some of you during this time. That was my goal. Cry honor over victory on the field. Do what you do with all your heart and you won't go wrong. And I have done this with all of my heart. And I hope it was the right thing and I did the right things. Because I have given everything that I could to this. It is part of my dream and I hope that I have become part of your dream. So thank you to everybody for being part of this. Um, the BOD for allowing us to do this last court this way. Um, and for everybody who has received an award, made an award, I don't want to leave out my scribes. You help make this dream live. It's more than a hobby. It's a lifestyle and us being able to live out our dreams. And you have absolutely all made that happen for me. And I hope I could make that happen for at least some of you. Um, so I will be stepping down next weekend, regardless of us not having um, an in-person court. 
Um, I do expect there to be a video court posted reasonably soon. Um, if not that weekend, then shortly after, on the beginning of the week, a video of the transition. I will be stepping down. Master Eldred will be stepping down. Um, His Highness Kirian and Her Highness Ellis will be stepping up, and um, Eleanor will be stepping up as Seneschal. So thank you to all of those people. And Oh, um, piece of business. Please let me know if you would ra if you received an award tonight, if you would rather have your scroll shipped to you or whether you would like to pick it up from me at the next event where we actually get to like see each other in person. And the answer can change if you'd like to pick it up and then it turns out you're not going to go to whatever that first event is. Um, please just let me know and I will ship it to you. So um, I'll ship the awards and tokens of anyone who asked them to ship. Otherwise, I will have them with me at your um, next event, whatever that is. Um, I am aware of cancellations of Shoots and Fest and the Crown event that was going to take place in Blackmere. So I'm, I know that I missed some messages as I was getting ready for court and we are working out, but I believe the fallback for Crown is border skirmish at this time. So um, I would see folks there if that's what turns out to be. This is a very fluid situation. We're all trying to roll with the punches and it will be what it will be. And we will be um, at another event sometime in the future, hopefully the near future. And I hope to see you all there. Um, I bet that event just when they first planned had no idea that they would be getting all of the people in the kingdom because we can no longer stand to be hidden in our houses and we have to go out to the event. Um, but thank you for coming into my living room and being here with me today and letting me end my reign by giving out all of these awards. It, it means the world to me. So thank you. Mr. Swoo. There being no further business, this closes the court of Jeanette Sovereign of the Stellar Kingdom of Northshield. Long live Northshield! Long, Long live Northshield! Long, 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 Long live the Queen! Long live the Queen! Queen. 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 Yay, we love you! Long live their highnesses! <laughs> Long, oh, yeah, Long live their highnesses! Long live their highnesses! Long live their highnesses. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you for being here and being so patient with our technical difficulties.